Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today the church celebrates the memorial of the siblings of Bethany. They are Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, friends of Jesus. Happy Fiesta to the people of Pateros and Kalawaan Pasig. Let us ask the prayers of these siblings that we may also be open and, and welcoming to the Lord, not only in our homes, but also in our hearts. To make ourselves less unworthy of this Eucharistic celebration, let us humbly ask God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the example of your saints may spur us on to a better life, so that we who celebrate the memory of Saints Martha, Mary and Lazarus may also imitate without ceasing their deeds. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the book of Exodus. When Moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, We will do everything that the Lord has told us. Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord and rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain an altar and twelve pillars for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then, having sent certain young men of the children of Israel to offer burnt offerings and sacrifice young bulls as peace offerings to the Lord, Moses took half of the blood 
and put it in large bowls. The other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the book of the covenant, he read it aloud to the people who answered, All that the Lord has said, we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words of his. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. God the Lord has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made the covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Offer to God praise as your sacrifice, and fulfill your vows to the Most High. Then call upon me in time of distress. I will rescue you, and you shall glorify me. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. First, I would like us to continue praying for those who perish because of the recent typhoon. There were people who got drowned, some of, we, some of whom were parish servants in Binangonan. Let us pray for the repose of their souls. Let us also pray for our brothers and sisters who are still suffering because they lost their loved ones and they lost their livelihood because of the typhoon. And in connection with this, tomorrow in all our masses, as um, instructed by the Cardinal, we will have second collection for the victims of Typhoon Egai. So please bring many, many money. Ha? No, dala kayo ng maraming pera. No? 
My dear brothers and sisters, listening or reading this gospel, there is always the great temptation to choose between the example of Mary and the example of Martha. It is as if the Lord wants us to make a choice, either be Martha or be like Mary. But my dear sisters and brothers, that would be, in my opinion, a mistake. We are not requested or we are not instructed to make a choice, but rather to see both the action of Martha and the action of Mary as important in our lives. Ano pong ibig kong sabihin? Simply lang, dapat sa ating buhay ay meron Martha at sa ating buhay ay merong Maria. Sa ating buhay, dapat merong contemplation or contemplative life. Pero sa ating buhay, ay meron ding active life. Yung mga monghe sa Carmelite Monastery sa Gilmore, they are not always praying. Prayer is their life. But they're also entertaining guests. They're also doing household chores. Some of them have hobbies. It is not always praying, active praying. There is also time for active life. I think that is very important to make, you know, a, a distinction to make. Because as I have said, there is always the temptation for us to say, ah, I want to be like Mary, always praying inside the church or in the adoration chapel. Oh, I want to be active. Uh, nanghihina ako kapag wala akong ginagawa. Nanghihina ako kapag nakaupo lang ako. Gusto ko laging kumikilos, naglilinis, nag-aayos. Hindi tayo pinamimili sa dalawa. Dapat pareho nasa atin. Mali kung tayo ay lagi na lamang kilos ng kilos, ayos ng ayos, luto ng luto. Meron din tayong dapat na panahon para sa pagdarasal. You know, ask yourselves, how much time of your daily life is spent praying? Actual praying. Alam nyo, ang biktima natin, pag tayo ay very busy, ang unang biktima natin ay yung ating prayer life. Wala na akong time magdasal eh. Ang dami-dami kong ginagawa. Kailangan natin yung mga sandali na tayo ay hihinto upang manalangin. Pero hindi rin naman pwedeng maghapon tayong nasa simbahan at nagdarasal. Kumisan, no? I may be wrong, no? But sometimes some people take prayer as an escape. As an escape. They don't want to face their family. They don't want to do the job in the house. So they spend so much time inside the church. Alis mo na ako, ha? punta ako na simbahan. Alis mo na ako, ha? punta ako adoration chapel. Is it really a desire to pray? Or we are escaping from someone? Someone. We are escaping from something. That's why prayer becomes as an escape. No. In our lives, we need time to pray just as we need time to work. We need time for active life just as we need time to 
be contemplative. Both Mary and Martha should be present in us. Let us make Martha as our example to feed, but let us also be like Mary as an example of our need to be fed. We need to feed. We need to be fed. Amen. Please stand. On this feast of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, let us remember those persons who serve us daily, and let us ask God to grant them the blessings and graces they deserve. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who work in the service of the church may truly become contemplative in action. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That public servants may perform their duties in the spirit of love and service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That like Martha, may we be willing and generous in bringing joy and comfort to those entrusted to our care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the aged may find care and support from their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed who served in this life may reap the fruits of their labors in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for our own particular intentions and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, we pray for the spirit of service as well as for the spirit of contemplation. Let our life and work be fruitful to many that we may serve as Martha did and listen as Mary did. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders in your saints, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as their homage of love was pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, especially Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fallen world, so that following the example of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.